and I will then answer as I go along. Um, so, and I will do some at the end if we have questions. So please do type any questions that you have into the chat pod and we can, uh, as I say, address it as we go. Right, let's move on. Okay, so this is a staff team that teach on the uh, criminology and law course. Over on the left, you've got myself on top of a mountain. Um, my background is Wiltshire Police for 20 years in various uh, roles, civilian and um, as a special constable. I have uh, an academic background as well. I have a degree and master's in criminology and criminal justice. So I've got a bit of both, thankfully. Then you've got Chris, uh, who's the second one. He's our department head, Chris Thompson. He's sport. Uh, predominantly, however, he is in charge of the whole sport, travel and tourism and public service department. Then you've got Baz in the middle. Baz is XRAF and he is uh, just finishing up his master's in criminology and criminal justice. He's up in Trowbridge. Then you've got Lily next to him, who's our deputy head. And Lily's background is academic. She has a degree and a master's in criminology and psychology, and she's just started her PhD. So uh, she's just working on that um, at the moment. And then over on the right, we've got our law expert, which uh, is Mel, and she will take, take, take all of the campuses for the, the law content of the course. Um, like I say, sometimes we will go across campus at the moment, we're not able to, but generally we will work across campus to uh, deliver the programme with our speciality areas. So here's just some pictures uh, of previous visits that we've done. We do try to get some visits in on this course uh, because we feel that that type of learning is much more interesting. Plus, you can relate it and you can learn lots of skills that are transferable. So we've got pictures here at Salisbury Courts down in the bottom. We went uh, to listen to different court cases. Then you've got riot training. We've been to prisons. Uh, we've had people in to talk. We've had uh, the Police and Crime Commissioner, Angus McPherson, he's come in. And We've had various other people come in to talk to us. And then over in the right, that's London. So we try to go up to um, London and go to the courts up there. So there are three elements to this course. Uh, we have the criminology um, and then we have the applied law. And you do a small part of the public service units that we cover in our main public service programme. So by the end of this course, you have three separate qualifications, but they equal three A-levels. So you will still have uh, those A-level equivalents if you want to go on to university or you want to stay with us to do um, a next degree programme. And I'll talk about that in a second. So these are the boards. So you'll have uh, the criminology, the law and the uh, public service qualification. OK, so first of all, the criminology It's two years. So in year one, uh, you will do changing awareness of crime and then criminological theories. The first one, changing awareness of crime, is what we're on at the moment. It's a fascinating subject um, and we are just about to go into our controlled assessment phase. So there's no exam, no assignment. It is a controlled assessment. And then the criminolog criminological theories, which is after Christmas, that is an exam and we will prep you for that. Then in year two, we've got crime scene to courtroom, and that is another internal uh, assessment, and then the crime and punishment, which is an external exam. So different to our public service course, where that's all uh, coursework based, this one uh, has the exams and controlled assessments, but we will obviously teach you to that level. Um, and that is why we are quite insistent that we need you to get grades four and above for this course, because it is a little bit more academic with, with less practical. The law element, uh, this is law, uh, Mel's speciality. That there again, an external assessment and an exam, and then year two, another external assessment and an exam. At the moment, this one is being taught online with our students uh, because Mel is based in Chippenham, and obviously, due to COVID, we can't go across campus, so they are having uh, online lessons which are working really well. The third element is the public service part. So whereas our public service students study for a full public service qualification, which gives them the equivalent three A-levels, this course offers you one part of that. So in year one, you do government policies and the public services. You do leadership and teamwork and then behaviour. 
And then the second year, you've got more criminology based. So you've got citizenship, crime and its effects and police powers, uh, all assignment based. So essentially, you'll have two strands that will be exams and controlled assessment and one strand that will be assignments. Um, but again, we will uh, go through those with you. And at the moment, our students currently do Monday for law. They come in with me on a Thursday to do uh, chronology and then Friday is public service. So we've spread out the, the courses to particular days to try and keep that to uh, keep them separate. Okay, so useful information. I'm just going to whiz through this because I'm conscious that we don't have a massive amount of time. So I'm going to whiz through this and obviously you can read through it, I'm sure. So the first one is this is a full time course. Uh, it's over generally over about three days, like I just said, and it's about 13 hours. Um, I know that doesn't sound a lot, but it is actually a full time course. But what we expect you to do in college, i.e. 13 hours, we expect you to do that out of college. So we're trying to create autonomous learners, which means you're learning in to direct your own self-study. So you can do that whether at college or you can do it at home. Uh, normally our students come into our library, we call it the LRC, Learning Resource Centre, um, and go down there, complete assignments. At the moment it's closed for obvious reasons. So we offer up the classrooms. So if you prefer to come into college on your study days, come into college and do work. If not, if you can work from home, that's absolutely fine. Online learning, massive learning curve for us this year. We've done a lot of online uh, teaching and it's gone really well. Um, I think we've got better at it. The students have got to like it more. Um, and as I say, it does provide a nice varied learning platform. There's some things that you can do online are better, to be fair, than in person. But we've listened to the students. The students prefer face to face. So we have done as much face to face as we can do. Um, but we are mixing it up and we like the online learning element. So we will probably be keeping bits of that. Visits. Like I said, there will be lots of visits um, on this course, not so much of the camping element that you have on the full public service course, but we will do a London visit and court visits and all those kind of things. Uh, I've talked about study days, tutorials, you will have a tutor a bit like a uh, form time at school, a form tutor, and they will be with you once a week. At the moment, they're online and they will go through uh, everything that's happening that week, anything they need to know. They'll do one to ones. They'll check on you, make sure that you're attending and all of that kind of thing. So the entry requirements for this course are four GCSEs at four or above. Um, and again, we, we are quite stringent with this because we do expect quite a lot of independent study, quite a lot of independent learning because it's quite heavy content, but it's fascinating. It's really interesting. Um, it's the first year we've taught the criminology element. Um, and I've got to say, the students are really enjoying it um, and I'm enjoying teaching it. Um, I've been a standard verifier for uh, the criminology for a couple of years now, so I knew what the course was about and I've got to say um, you know it, it's been really good so far um, and the students are just preparing now for their controlled assessment so we're just looking ahead. Equipment over on the left hand side obviously um, first bit is pretty fairly obvious we encourage you to bring in a laptop tablet keyboard whatever you've got um, because some of you would prefer to type rather than write notes I know I do um, and you can sit in a lesson with your keyboard and you can just type away and take all notes in the lesson uh, there is a lot of note to be taken so again if you know Father Christmas maybe put it on the list that you need a new laptop or something like that and see if he's kind to you and uh, bring you one of those but we do encourage you to do that if that's your way of recording information. Sense of humour is essential. Um, we have a good giggle um, as well as taking our job very seriously, but you do need to have some humour in there. As part of the criminology, we will look at elements of uh, cases that are quite dark, quite deep, and we do need to be able to um, look at it with some humour just to kind of make sure that we can, um, you know, approach it in the right way. Um, public services, students, again, sense of humour is always essential um, because you are dealing with some of the good, the bad and um, the very strange things in society. So what can you do after the course? We have got a great option for you. Uh, Salisbury, we've just started this one. Chippenham have had it for some time. Uh, it is our degree level course. So once you've finished your level three, two years with us, you can then go on to a level four, five, which is the first two years of university if you were going off to a brick university. And we are just in the process of trying to get a top up year. So you can actually do a full degree with us for about half the cost of going to another university. 
So we've got uh, three of our students from last year's level three have come back to do the HND. So they are with us on a Monday and a Friday and they are doing um, full days, Monday, Friday, and they will do year four and five. So this year and next year, they will then have their cap and gown ceremony at Salisbury Cathedral. And then they can choose to do a top up year with us or any other university they want to. And then they will have a full degree. And it's about half the cost of going off to another university. So um, it is a much cheaper option. Um, and as I say, our students are really enjoying it. And what I'll try and do in the next few weeks is put some videos of them just telling you about what they've been doing, just so you can see what options you have. So it's not just about going to uni, there's lots of other options. We will also look at other careers within uh, within the field, we will visit the police, we'll do riot training, we'll go to the courts, we'll go to prisons, we'll do all of those kind of things that can give you a bit of a flavour of different careers that you might want to go into once you finish the course. Um, like I say, all of the staff have backgrounds uh, in uh, criminology or public services. So again, we can help and give you advice on that one. We do ask for some additional course costs, which is £100 payable at the start of the term. Um, that does include your uh, uniform. Um, this does say it's not compulsory, but this year it is compulsory uh, because the students ask for it to be compulsory. So what we have is students have navy and they have polo shirts and hoodies and the staff have the same, but we have green. Um, and it has uh, the college logo and on the back it has the course that you're doing. So for this one, it says criminology and law. So uh, the students are really liking that and that comes out of that £100. If you are um, a low income household, uh, you can apply for a bursary. And if that's something you'd like to discuss with me individually and email me, then I'm more than happy to chat to you about that. And if you apply for the bursary, you will get that £100 paid. You will also get, or the you as a student will get some money each month um, into your bank account to help you with any expenses. Um, and there could be options of computers and things like that. So if you're on the bursary list, there are lots of things that are available to you. Um, and as I say, if you want more information, just let me know. OK, I think we've probably covered quite a few of these already. So role of the tutor, like I say, you will have a tutor and that tutor will be in touch with you once a week. You have an hour a week and it will be to go through what's going on, how you're getting on, any issues, any problems. And they will be the ones that will chase you if you're not coming in um, or if there are any issues. We do have accommodation on campus. We do have a halls of residence. However, that is predominantly for the uh, students that are studying the degree programmes that we offer because you have to be 18 and above. Uh, but if you come back and do the HNC H&D with us, it is an opportunity there for you. Uh, uniform we've already discussed. Uh, college facilities at the moment, we've got lots of building work going on. Uh, Salisbury is having a massive uh, building, as you've probably seen those of you that live in Salisbury. And we are going to have some amazing facilities. Um, teaching wise, it won't impact on us because our classrooms are over in the far side of college that look down onto the dual carriageway. Uh, but we will have things like a new uh, restaurant, uh, new workrooms, uh, lecture theatre, all of that. So you will be impacted by that brand new build. It looks amazing and it's going to give us some great facilities. Lackham and Trowbridge, you've all had uh, lots of things going on recently, lots of new builds, lots of extensions. And again, all part of the programme and Chippenham have a brand new campus. So a lot of money has been invested into our build in the last few years um, and it's uh, starting to look really really amazing. Uh, entry requirements we've already spoken about. Enrichment is a little bit like after school clubs. So it, we have various sporting academies. So if you like your netball or your rugby or your football or futsal, we've got all of those academies that you can do alongside your course. Um, we also have other bits and pieces going on through the year, different um, activities around the campus. And as a course, we run lots of charity events. We work very closely with our sport and travel and tourism uh, colleagues. And through the year, we run quite a few charity events. Um, um, because again, all skills that are transferable and, you know, it's all about supporting the community. Uh, college, student support. Yes, we have a whole support network. We have uh, counsellors, we have safeguarding experts, we have a whole ream of people that will help and support you whilst you are with us at Wiltshire College. Careers and progress. Yes, we will help you with that. We will help you get to university if that's what you would like to do. We will show you lots of career options through your time with us. And again, you can then make an informed decision about what uh, area you would like to move into. Uh, the careers, uh, sorry, the UCAS element, we've got about... Uh, I think we've got about 20 students at the moment from sport, travel and uh, public services off to uni. 
We've um, just been sorting out all of their personal statements. We've got quite a few offers in already. So that is something that we will help you with. A lot of colleges don't tend to offer that service in terms of supporting you through. Um, however, we do. Um, we will help you with that personal statement. We'll help you with your choice and we will help you get where you want to be. Um, because we feel it's important to, you know, we start off with your academic journey and help you get where you need to go. Uh, parents evening reports, I'm so sorry, but you do not get away from that. Uh, we still have parents evening and reports, uh, but it's not about you, it's with you. So we encourage you to come along and it's not me sitting there saying, Jimmy's done this and Jimmy hasn't done that. It's about talking with you about your experience, how you're enjoying things, how can we make a difference if there's something that's not quite right. So it's with you rather than about you. OK, um, and we are quite upfront with those uh, tuition fees. We've already spoken about some additional fees. Work experience is a compulsory part of the course. Uh, we are working with various agencies to try and get work experience arranged. It's difficult within the public services and criminology field because there are not that many offers out there in terms of work experience. However, we will come up with um, last year we worked with the army and went for a week. So if anyone is got that kind of interest you can do that if you've got any connections yourself within the uh, criminology public service law sector you can do that but we will work with you so don't panic that's something we can sort attendance we are very hot on attendance um, if you are going into the world of policing after college or anything like that you need to be punctual you need to attend you need to turn up with the right kit and attitude um, and we are quite strict on that and I make no apologies it's uh, us trying to create um, the right type of people for those jobs when you leave us. Um, and as I say, we are quite hot on that one. OK, safeguarding tutorial, I think I've already covered this, that you have a tutor. Um, and as I say, they're part of the safeguarding team and they will have one to ones with you and that regular weekly meeting. We have lots of student events going on. We have a student union um, and one of our amazing uh, HND criminology students, Kieran Castle, who I put a video on to Facebook yesterday, has just applied to be a student governor, um, which is a great opportunity and one that, as I say, for his CV will be fantastic as he moves into the world of work. Uh, there are lots of opportunities like that, lots of sessions. Um, we do have a gym on campus, a small one that you can use um, and lots of other facilities and uh, opportunities for you. What we require, so these are some things that we definitely need you to have. Timekeeping, like I say, we are very hot on that. Work ethic, we need you to work hard. If you put in 110%, we will support you 110%, but we, it's both ways. We need you to put that time. It's your course, not ours. We're there just as facilitators to help you get where you want to be. Commitment, OK, full commitment, getting working on time, studying when you've been asked to, doing any work that you've been asked to do between lessons. Um, dress clean and tidy. Um, like I say, we do wear a uniform on our top half. Bottom half, you can wear whatever you want, skirt, trousers, leggings, whatever. Um, my mantra is no bellies, bits, bums and boobs. So, you know, we need to be smart because of the profession that you will hopefully go into in the future. PMA, positive and mental attitude. Definitely. Um, we will go lots of places and do lots of silly things. And what we ask is that you try it. OK, openness and honesty is pretty much uh, just a given. Ownership of your work. OK, we will help you. We will give you strategies. We will teach you different skills on how to organise yourself, how to take notes, how to reference, how to academically write. But you need to take ownership of that. OK, and you will need to complete work outside of college. Like I say, 13 hours is your timetable sessions. You do need to um, add in that extra work out of out of college. So this is our new poster that we launched this year, and we've tried to base a lot of our learning and teaching around this. So no li limits, aim higher. Um, it is a type of course that does push you out of your comfort zone. Um, not as much as the UPS course, because that is a lot of swimming and things and climbing things and crawling under things. But we will have an element of um, going out and doing bits and pieces. We'll be going out with the riot police. We'll be going out with the ambulance resilience service and pretending that we've been shot and um, helping them with role play for their um, final assessment. So you will do lots of things that maybe you've not had the opportunity to do before. And we just ask you to come in, have a go and get stuck in. And whatever you guys do, we do as well. Um, so, you know, we never say no to anything. Last year, uh, the two that we arranged a charity event, which was an abseil off the top of the college building in Salisbury. Um, very scared, hypnotherapy to help me do it. But I did it myself. The TNT uh, teachers did it. The sport teachers did it. Um, and a lot of students overcame massive fears. So whatever you guys do, we do as well. 
unfortunately. Okay, so just a brief, uh, some of the trips and visits that we've planned for this year for our criminology students. It's not happening at the moment because of COVID, um, but I'm hoping by the time you join us, whether it's next year or the year after, that we are able to uh, get our programme of trips and visits back up. So we go to the House of Parliament and Courts of Justice, a fairly obvious part of your course. We will take you to universities. We'll see what different programmes they have to offer. We had some sessions this week with South Wales University because they run a Hydra suite, which is a major incident suite, and we took part in some activities. But in a normal world, we would go to them. We'd get in the minibus and, and head up to, um, to Pontypridd for that one. Then we go and look at security elements. We do the public order training with the police. Clink Restaurant, which is restaurants around the country that are run um, and staff are all prisoners. Um, it's a kind of rehabilitation program um, and it will give you a good insight into um, to that element of criminal justice. And then you can also, if you are interested in anything more public servicey, you can take part in some of the trips that we do as part of the UPS group. So you can go on the Meet the Marines trip. You can go to RAF Bryce Norton. You can join in with the Army. You can sit the Navy entrance test. All of our students sit that every January. If you pass it, great. It stays on file. You've passed the entrance test. If you fail, it just gets binned because you can only have a couple of tries in, in the real world. Uh, so it gets binned, forgotten. But if it's passed, it stays on file and quite a few of our students have then progressed into the Navy. Uh, you can do sports activities down at Five Rivers uh, with our um, coaches from Salisbury and we will also go out with the National Ambulance Resilient Group where I said we'll take part in major incidents. Uh, we join our sport and our travel and tourism colleagues and we all go off and um, it's a great experience. So quite a few of those. As soon as we are able to, we are going to be booking lots of trips. Um, at the moment we are slightly confined to campus but as soon as COVID and like I say I'm hoping by the time you join us that we will be back in uh, full flow of all of our wonderful trips. Please do, if you've got any questions as we're going along, please do type them into the chat pod and I can answer any that we go along, making it easier. Oops, being a bit too quick with the uh, button there. There, DB. So we have introduced Duke of Edinburgh the last couple of years. We are lucky at Salisbury, we have Matt, who is running our DV programme. And up in uh, Trowbridge and Lacken, we've got Sue, Baz, Ian and uh, Lily all uh, looking after the programme up there. So it's some of you might have done bronze at school and you might want to do silver. We can do that for you. Some of you might have silver, you might want gold. So we can run that alongside your course programme. And uh, we've got quite a few applicants this year. So hopefully um, we'll have lots of photos through the year onto our Facebook page about our Duke of Edinburgh candidates as we go through the year. Some of you have probably found us already on social media. Uh, we are on Instagram and Facebook, UPS Wiltshire College. Um, I'm great with the Facebook. I update that regularly. Not so good with the Instagram. I'm trying, um, but the Facebook page is definitely updated by Lily and myself. Uh, most days we'll find something or a memory or something like that. Um, and if there is anything to tell you, we will always put it on Facebook. Um, if you haven't had a look through all of our photos on there, go and have a look after this uh, webinar because all of the trips, all of the photos are all on there and you can get a really good sense of what we do. Um, like I say, it sounds like we're always out on a jolly, but everything we do um, either has transferable skills that you can use for other things. Um, but generally, there's also some coursework when we get back to college. So there's a review of your performance, um, uh, an analysis of the case that we watched at court, that kind of thing. So you will always have that um, on there. Have a look. College expectations, fairly obvious. Um, I'm sure that's no different to any other college or any other place of employment that you might go into and our expectations. Uh, OK, we've got to the end. That was a real whistle stop tour. Um, sadly, we've only got a small time slot this morning. I am hoping that when the COVID restrictions come in or get loosened, sorry, that I can invite some of you into college so you can come and have a look around. Keep looking at our public service page on uh, Facebook because I will let you know on there. And as soon as I'm allowed to have people into college, I will um, arrange for you to come in and have a look around so you can see exactly uh, what you're going to be studying and where. If you look on our Facebook page on the videos, there is a video that I made back in uh, the summer that does show you around our classrooms and our corridor. So have a look for that because it does give you an idea. If you have any questions, anything at all, please send me an email on public services 
at wiltshire.ac.uk. It's on your screen at the moment. And as soon as I finished, I'm going to go online and go into the mailbox and start answering uh, the emails that seem to be coming through. So please do ask a question. If you're waiting for an interview, uh, that will be shortly and uh, our teams will get in touch with you. We're just trying to work out what's best for you in terms, because normally we'll invite students in in a group. So obviously that's not right this year. Um, we're just kind of working it through, but, but please be rest assured if you have uh, applied, you're in the system. Um, you should have had some emails from our admissions team. If you haven't, again, drop me an email and I can chase it up for you. So I don't have any questions on here. I know I've got some emails that have come in. So if you have a question or query, please email. Um, if not, um, thank you so much for your time this morning. I hope um, that either the lack of questions is that either I've bored you all to sleep or I've answered everything and I've been really, really good. I'm hoping it's the latter. Um, but like I say, if you have any questions, please do email me. Thank you for joining me and have a great weekend.